Welcome to a brand new feature here on the internet. It's called Origami in Action. And all you need for origami is some nice pretty paper and a pair of hands. Today we're going to make a very simple model. First of all, you need a piece of paper that is square like so. And then we can start folding loose. Right, what we need to do is to fold, first of all, very simply from corner to corner on the pattern side. Thus, nice sharp creases you need. So there we go, corner to corner, then open it up and then do the same from the other corner to corner. Like that. You can see the creases, nice creases. All you have to do then is open up and turn it over. Okay, now we want you to fold from edge to edge, like so. And do the other side, edge to edge, like that. So now you see, you've got something that will open and close like that. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> This is what we want to do actually. You're going to just simply all two of the corners together and then push it all up like that and squash it. So now you're left with a square like so. All right, now what we need to do, very simple, is to find the loose edges and then fold four flaps in to the middle like so. One, two, turn it over, three, and number four. So it looks like a kite. Okay, open them out. Oh, no, keep them close, sorry. Ugh. First mistake of the series, keep them closed because we just need to do one more thing and that's this top flap here, which is the pointy bit. Just fold it down so it meets the top of those other flaps and then all we do is crease it and open it up again. Then you can open up the four flaps. So, right, now what we're going to do, the flaps, the flappy flap 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 bits <laughs> should be at the bottom like that. Okay, so what we're going to do, you're going to uh, just open one of the bottom flaps like that. Put your finger on the other one like so. Put your finger on the top of the other point there like so. Then put your thumb in this flap and just push it up and you'll see then it'll just take a shape and all you have to do is to carefully craft it into the shape that it wants to go in. And in this occasion, it is a diamond. Turn it over and do the same on the other side. Finger there, finger there, thumb in, and then just let it craft itself into the shape of that diamond, like so. Okay. Nice, tight, creases. And there we go, look, we've got a nice diamond shape there. Now that is called a bird base and it looks like that, which is uh, the shape of a kite, or it can look like that, which is the shape of a diamond. Okay, now we're going to make our bird. And it's a very simple bird, simple flapping bird that you can make for the children and they'll laugh and you can teach them it and they will amaze their friends. It's a very simple model. In future episodes we'll be making um, more difficult birds and other models as well. But for today we're just doing a very simple flapping bird. So now what we need to do, got these two bits at the bottom and we simply fold one up like that. You get that and fold the other one up like that. So it looks like that. And then bring them down again. Okay. And then what you need to do is to open up that bit there and then just push, push this point up so it folds up like 
that. Okay, you see that? It looks like that. Then you simply push that up there so it goes in like that. Turn it over. We'll do exactly the same with the other side. Open up like so and then just push that point in so it looks like that. That's simple really, isn't it? Now all we need to do is just make a beak. So we do exactly the same with this point here. Fold it down so it looks like a beak, like so. Fold it up and then just open it up and push it in. Yeah. So it looks like that, okay? Next thing we need to do is just to crease our wings which are here and we just fold them down like that and crease them like so turn it over fold it down and crease like so and there you have your bird but will it fly let's find out so there's your bird nicely crafted there's several ways that you can make it fly uh, you can either hold it there and just pull the tail out like that and then the wings flap or you can hold hold it like that with the two points and then make it flap. You know, when my mum used to make these kind of birds, uh, it always happened where only one of the wings would flap. Hope you have more luck with your flapping bird. Until next time on Origami in Action, bye for now.